Hi everyone, welcome back to project3dprint.com. Today's project, we're going to be building a handy little gadget for all you iPhone users. Um, it's a wireless iPhone charger. So basically this consists of two, two main parts. We've got our, our charging pad here, which are these white parts. And then we have our case here, which is our receiving module. Now this project is compatible for 4 and 5, iPhone 4 and 5. Uh, if you haven't already downloaded these files, then jump onto project3dprint.com and you'll find uh, the links to either iPhone 4 or 5. So taking a quick look at the printed parts here, we've got our, our transmitting case here, which our electronics unit goes into. Basically two parts, very straightforward prints. Um, just make sure that you're sliding sliding bottom of the case here freely slides in and clips into place without getting stuck or jammed. If it does, if it's a little bit tight just try gently twisting the case and sliding it on. Secondly we've got our actual iPhone case it consists of two printed parts again very straightforward prints um, just make sure you spend a little bit of time just cleaning them up well, getting rid of any stray material from, from the features, especially the clipping features which are, which are on these two parts. Basically this part slides over top and covers our plug unit which we will install shortly. So next let's take a look at the electronics kit which you would have been able to purchase um, either through our website or when you downloaded the STL files you would have received the parts list linking you directly to where you can purchase the parts online for yourself. Firstly we have our transmitter unit here. This goes into our white transmitting case or charging pad. Then we have our wireless receiver. This sits inside our actual iPhone case. Next you would have received either an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 5 cable. And lastly you would have received a USB to mini, sorry micro USB cable and that's used to actually power the transmitter or the charging pad. So the first thing we want to do is just assemble our actual charging pad. So we take our, our case, basically this unit simply clips into the lower part, electronic components facing down. And there's two little clips on the side, each side, which help lock it in place. We just gently push down until it clips in place. And that'll be firmly in there. Next we want to actually just, you'll see this double sided tape on each side of the actual transmitting coil. We're going to have the coil obviously facing upwards to our smooth surface. So we just remove double sided tape and just make sure here you'll see the two wires, copper wires coming that are coming out from the PCB there it does have protective protective shield on each one to stop the wires from shorting out but just make sure that they're not touching and then we can just stick our transmitting coil down just press firmly until it's stuck in place. Then our cover just simply slides over top like so, clips in place and there we have our transmitting case or charger pad completed. Next thing we need to do is prepare the actual plug or cable which is going to go into our into our case. There's a, a few differences between the 4 and 5 iPhone 4 and 5. Today we're going to be working on the 4 but as we go I'll show you the differences between the 4 and 5 for all your iPhone 5 users. 
So we need to take our cable, our iPhone 4 cable, and we need to remove this white plastic shield from around the actual clip. To do that, it's actually created in two parts, two halves. There's a very fine join line down the sides. You can actually separate that just with a sharp utility knife, just gently cutting on each side and prying that off and open. I've got one here. You can see that I've already done that. So I've cut away these two, two halves of the shield. The next thing you need to do is actually cut about 10 centimeters or half an inch off the cable from where it joins to the pin connectors where it's soldered onto the clip. Like so. Next we need to just strip all these wires that we've just cut. And we're going to be joining the red and black wires to our wireless charger receiver module here. Now if you've accidentally broken off the little prongs as I did when I was testing this unit, don't panic. All you need to do is just gently scrape away some of this black ribbon to reveal the copper underneath. And just put a little bit of solder on and then you can solder your wires to each one. You'll notice here that the two little ribbons here are slightly different in size. The larger one in width is our negative. So we need to solder our black wire or negative wire to the thicker ribbon. And our red wire will be soldered to the thin ribbon. So once you've soldered those two wires on, the last thing that we need to do is just join this green and white wire together with a little bit of solder. This basically just shorts out that circuit. Um, without going into detail, like the iPhone won't actually charge unless those two wires are joined. And it's perfectly safe to do so. So there we go. We've got our completed plug, our receiver ready to go. I'm just going to put a little bit of protective tape over all of these joins to make sure that they don't short out. So there we have, just, we've just added a little bit of electrical insulation to those joints to, um, to protect them. If you're using an iPhone 5, you're going to do a very similar thing. However, the iPhone 5 connector is actually um, a little bit different. You'll actually need to slice open the actual cable end, taking a sharp utility knife, and just cut flush with the actual plug part of the, of the cable end and remove, take a slice down the side like that and then you'll be able to break away this white protective shield or surround. As you can see here, this is one that I've already done. And the actual iPhone 5 connector has a little PCB on the end also. So before we actually install our wireless receiver module which we just prepared into our case, we just want to make sure that all the solder joints that you've just made are actually working okay. To do this, we can just quickly plug in our transmitting module or the charging pad, which you've assembled already. And you'll, once you've got power to that, you'll have a little orange LED lighting up. And then just plug in your iPhone, plug the clip in, and then place the wireless charger on top. wireless receiver sorry and you'll get a little blue LED light coming up saying that it's connected and also now my phone is charging so that's all good so next we want to install our little receiver module into our actual case here we've got an iPhone 4 case that we're working with now this actually tucks in to a little recess pocket. You'll need to bend the, bend the module a little bit to get it underneath. And then it expands and sits flush once it's in there. You've got a little bit of movement to adjust this to where you need it, depending on um, the length of cable that you cut. 
So this simply clips in, just make sure that we've got the orientation up the right way. This little plug clips into features as it does in the actual, which are replicated from the original little case that it was sitting in. You've got little grooves here and here, which clip into our little bosses poking up. So that's simply, it will it'll just sit in like so. You can use a little bit of glue if you want to, but you don't need to for the iPhone 4. For the 5, I'd probably recommend, the way that the 5 works, is you need to tuck these wires to the underside of where the PCB components are. If we grab the 5 case, which is very similar, just a little bit different. This actually sits like so. And again, that sits on a little, there's little tabs that hold it there. So next we can actually put our cover on, which is this part. Now this slides on with a little tongue and groove feature. <clears throat> Just make sure that the plug is situated correctly. Might need to fiddle a little bit to get it in the right place. And push it firmly closed. Now there's a little snap fit on the bottom here that you might need to squeeze for it to properly clip in like that. Lastly again we can just make sure that everything is working okay by checking the unit. Simply slide our phone in place onto the plug and then it clips in like most iPhone cases do, like so. Likewise if you're boarding an iPhone 5 case, we have the, the little bottom piece which slides over top of our plug connection. Obviously you'll have your receiver module all soldered on here and tucked into the little recess. Once these are actually on, they can be pretty hard to get off. Obviously you don't want them falling off when you've got your phone in your pocket and using your phone. Um, actually to get them off, you need to use a screwdriver and actually insert it here and push, push down and slide the piece back off again. Which is why it's a good idea to just make sure that your plug is actually working before you slide this this final piece on. So just one final check to make sure that everything's working okay. We can take our completed case with our phone in it and just place it on top of our charging pad. And you'll notice that our light turns blue to indicate that it's um, working correctly and also my phone is now charging. So there we go, that's the completed project. Um, hope you enjoy putting it together and be sure to check back to project3dprint.com for upcoming new and exciting projects.